Very good. Do you want to have a go? Have a kiss, go. Very good. Well done. Somebody's been doing their homework throughout the week, which is good. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Give me a fist bump. Very good, buddy. Yeah. Okay, very good. Ah, see, so Atticus, the example for you guys. You guys need to remember it next week. Now we got another memory verse for this week. Memory verse this week is going to come from the book of Leviticus. Leviticus. Can we say this together? Leviticus. Leviticus. What does it say? Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. Let's see if you can memorize that. Let's say it together. You ready? Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. Oh, this one's going to be a little bit harder this time. It's a little bit longer, isn't it? Okay, Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. It's going to be easy to remember this. The same number, isn't it? 10, 10, Leviticus 10, 10. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and, un and between unclean and clean. Oh, I have to memorize this one too. Okay, so that's the one we're going to try and memorize today after we learn a little bit about this verse. What is it saying, this verse? It's talking about there being a difference, isn't there? Being different. If you remember, we go back to this verse. It says, you may put difference between holy and unholy, between unclean and clean. Why? Because there should be a difference between what's good and what's bad. Don't you think? There should be some difference. So we're going to talk about some differences today where we as children of God, as believers, we should be different. We should look different to how the world does, how the world looks. Isn't that right? Be different is the title of today's message. Okay? Oh! What is that? He looks different, doesn't he? All of these piercings. Look, he's even cut his tongue in half. Ugh. Now he looks different, doesn't he? But is that the sort of different we should be? No, there should be a difference between how the world makes them look, themselves look different and the way we look different. Can you see a difference between him and me? I can see a difference. I don't have all these things sticking out of my head and all these making my ears look ugly and doing all this stuff to my body. No, God doesn't want us to look like this. He wants us to look neat and tidy and clean. So if you're wondering, how should I dress? How should I look as a Christian? You can look to the adults in here. You look to Victor, look to the bishop, and you can see, ah, oh, this is how Victor presents himself. This is how he dresses. This is how I should look, not how the world makes themselves look different. So we should be different, one, in how we look, right? When we are following God, we're trying to do what's right by Jesus Christ, we should look different. How else should we be different? We should look different. We should... What's going on here? You see this? Who knows what's going on here? Anyone know? Nobody knows. That's a good sign. If you guys don't know what's happening here, maybe you guys have never done it. What do you think this girl? Does she look happy or does she look sad? What do you think? She looks sad. Where is she? That looks like she's in Woolworths. It's a shopping centre. Who knows what this is called? When children get upset and they throw themselves on the ground and they're crying, they're upset. What is that called? It starts with a T. Simon? A tantrum. A tantrum. She is throwing a tantrum. She's not happy. She's crying on the floor. Is this how God would want his children to behave? No. So there should be a difference in how we behave compared to how 
non-Christians behave. Sometimes you see children in the store and they're arguing with their parents. They're yelling at their parents. They're screaming and they're crying because why? Maybe they didn't get the chocolate or the toy that they wanted and they throw themselves on the ground and they're crying. Is that how we should behave? No. What should we be? We should be different. Different between unholy and holy. Different between unclean and clean. If we think about holy and unholy, what do you think this is? Is this unholy or holy? Timothy. Unholy. This is not the right thing to do. Right? We want to be holy. We want to be respectable. We want to talk to our parents nicely. We want to behave ourselves when we walk in the shops. Do we crawl all over the floor, rolling all over the floor? No, we walk. We walk like respectable people, don't we? So we want to look different. Remember that one? We want to act different. I got one more for you. What do you think this one is? How else should we be different? What do you think? What do you think, Sarah? What do you think this is? Getting bullied. That's right. So we want to look different. We want to act different. But we also want to talk different, don't we? Have you ever had somebody say something nasty to you before? Have you ever had somebody, somebody say something nasty to you? I have. Didn't feel good, did it? Didn't feel nice. So you know what? We shouldn't do the same to others. Right? Some people say nasty things. Or maybe they make fun of you. Or maybe they say things. They say like they don't like your clothing or they don't like the way you look or they say things that are not nice. But should we talk like that? No. How should we talk? Who thinks how we should talk? How should we talk? Nicely. That's right. We'd be kind. We want to be good. We want to talk nicely. Instead of making fun of people, we want to compliment people. Instead of making people feel, you know, scared, we want to make them feel confident. Instead of people making them feel ostracized or, you know, cast out like this, we want to welcome them, not bully them. We want to be their friend. That's how we can be different. You know, a good principle we can follow. You know what Jesus said? He said, you want to do unto others as you would have done unto you. Do you know what that means? You should treat people the way you want to be treated. So if you think, how should I treat other people? You just need to think, oh, how would I like to be treated? How would I like people talking to me? And that's how I should talk to them. Okay, so we want to look different. Maybe these pictures will help you remember. We'll look different. We want to, what's the second one? Simon, we want to act different. And the last one? We want to talk different. Right? This is how we're going to be different. Okay, back to our memory verse. Memory verse. Let's read it together again. Let's see if you guys can have a go. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. Who wants to have a go? Let's see if I remember it. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. And that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean. Did I get that right? Let's have a look. I'm trying to remember myself now. Whoops. It's kind of tricky here, eh? Because it starts with the good one and the bad one, and then here is the bad one and the good one. That's how I remember it. That you may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean. So you see, good, bad, bad, good. And then I just remember there's the same number, chapter 10, verse 10. Easy way to remember. Who wants to have a go? All right, Simon, go ahead. Oh, very close. Missed a few words there, but very close. That's good. I think you just missed these two words. And between 
Unclean and clean. Who else wants to have another go? You reckon you want to have a go, Timothy? <laughs> All right, we'll practice it throughout the week and we'll see if you remember it next week. Okay, so hope you learned something there today. We want to be different, don't we? So we want to apply. Kids, listen up. Pay attention up here. Ari, up here. Ari. So we want to also apply these principles when we're playing games as well, don't we? Isn't that right? When we play games, we don't want to be like the world's children play games. We want to be like God's children. Right? So we talk different. We act different. We look different. And we want to be different. All right? Let's stand up and we'll go over here.